2002 Nissan Xterra. Customer complaint was uh, when he was driving the car or some die on him. So I had a tow to my house. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing I did was to check for fuel, make sure I have, a f make sure the fuel pump is working. Uh, this right here is the connector. There's a fitting here, and then this right here goes into it. It's if it's never been off, it's really hard to uh, to loosen it, and you don't want to break the uh, the line either. So what you can do is just follow the line and you can take it off from right here. And I believe it's the 10 millimeter bolt. Take them both off and pull this line off. Be careful, don't lose the O-ring that goes around the, uh, the, uh, the, the point that goes into the hole. Don't lose that O-ring. Uh, yeah, just take it off and be careful if there's fuel pressure in it. It might squirt some fuel out, so just take it off slowly. Let the fuel come out. Once you take it out, uh, just have someone turn the key on to uh, to the on position, and just be careful because the fuel gonna squirt out if the fuel pump is working. Uh, on this car, I broke it loose right here because I worked on this car before, and it was an on as tight because I. I broke it loose before so when I turn the key on the fuel does uh, come out so I know it's getting fuel fuel pump is working so next thing I you want to do is check for spark if you have a spark tester it will makes it a lot easier you just connect it to the uh, spark plug wire and have someone crank the uh, engine and if it, the uh, spark tester light up I'm gonna show you what uh, the spark uh, tester I use looks like. I bought this from Mako. Uh, this right here, and it's got a clip at the end where you had to ground it to the vehicle. Just find you a good ground, then plug this other end into the spark plug wire, and then have someone crank the car. And you can see the light in here will flicker when the car is cranking. So. I I was getting spark. So next thing you need to check is uh, the distributor. I took it out. Here's a distributor cap. Uh, it's got the uh, leave this eight millimeter bolt on front and back. You can take that off. And what I found out was when I took it off this rotor right here is screwed in by a 10 millimeter bolt right there that 10 millimeter bolt somehow the bolt uh, came loose and it fell out so when it fell out this rotor is still gonna spin but it's not it's gonna spin off timing but you still gonna get spark but it's it's not spinning in the correct timing for the spark to spark and burn the fuel, that's why your car just crank and it won't start. So I find the uh, the bolt, and what I did is uh, I I used Loctite and I bolted it back in. So now it's nice and tight, and the Loctite will help it uh, hold in place. But if the bolt is not missing and it's still on there, next thing you got to check. And this gear right here on my Nissan uh, Frontier this gear is held in by the pin there's a pin in there that holds this gear in and somehow the pin is sheared off so the gear was just sitting there and it's not moving the whole the, the rotor it's just spinning spinning and the rotor is not moving because the, the there's a pin in there that, that sheared off so that's another uh, uh, thing you need to check if you, those bolts still in here and the road is still uh, turning. See that bolt is still in there. So the road is gonna turn if that bolt still it's still in there. So
what I did is, like I said, I just put in, uh, put it back in and use Loctite on it. And um, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to time the engine, put it back on top dead center. Um, let me show you. You have to turn the crank. Always turn it clockwise. And I can't really show you the uh, the mark on there, but there's a mark on the on the pulley, on the uh, on the uh, on the small pulley, because the the big one is in the back, and the front pulley right there. It's got a mark there. It is. You can see the mark right there. You got the mark to the left, which is five degree after top dead center, I believe. And then the second mark is top dead center. And then you got the third mark, which is five degree uh, before top dead center, ten degree before top dead center. So what you want to do is you line that mark up with the engine cover. The engine cover will have an arrow that point out. This one, for some reason, somebody did the uh, timing belt and then put the uh, engine cover back on with the uh, with the arrow pointing out. So I have to uh, take the uh, number one spark plug out, which is right there, and then I have to uh, make sure number one piston it's all the way up to the top. You're probably gonna need a uh, second person to. Uh, help you while you turn the crank what I did is uh, I use a extension a quarter inch drive long extension sticking the spark plug hole and while I turn the engine watch the extension come up once it come all the way up it should be on top bit center and then you look down the marks should line up with the arrow there so this one doesn't have the front engine cover because somebody didn't want to bother put it back on for some reason so just it makes it harder now for me to uh, do it by myself but I got a friend to help me out so now when you put the distributor uh, back on you can have to uh, line the rotor up uh, and 1A Auto does have a good video on how to replace the distributor uh, and um, that's it. If, if your, your Nissan Frontier or, or Xterra or any car that uses distributor all of a sudden die uh, while you're driving, just cut off for no reason. And you have fuel, you have spark. Check the distributor, check the rotor, and also check the gear at the bottom. Because like I said, my Nissan Frontier sheared off the pin. It Somehow the pin in there sheared off and the gear was just was not even turning the shaft so that's why my car my truck wasn't starting uh, this one is just the uh, the rotor the bolt came off the rotor so the rotor was still spinning but it was spinning because it was uh, and it's off timing so that's why the uh, the car didn't start so now I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together I, I timed the engine already got it to top bed center and I'm gonna put the rotor, uh, not the rotor, but the, the distributor back in. So I hope this video helped. Um, oh, by the way, uh, the distributor have this bolt right here that holds it on. It is a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, you're gonna have to use the swivel or universal joint uh, to get to this bolt, and then just take it off. Uh, but before you take the uh, the road uh, the distributor off, make sure you watch the video uh, on how they mark the timing mark and stuff on it. So that way, when you start your car, it doesn't you know run like a misfire. So yeah, good luck with it, and I hope this video helped. I'm trying to give it back to the uh, YouTube community for helping me out with uh, everything that I need to know. Good website and have a good day.